Okay guys, um, today we're going to be doing a Ford BABF Falcon. Um, just going to put it in aftermarket head unit in this little spot down here, underneath the original ICEC. So that's going to be taken out, we'll put a fascia kit in there, that gets moved down to about here. Yeah, got a new one in there, so it can play USB, Bluetooth, MP3, auxiliary and so on. So, alright, let's get started. Here's a kit from DNA here, just a um, BABF fashion or Tail Tree fashion kit, and we're putting in a, a Sony Mechless Bluetooth head unit. Okay, let's prepare this by taking out the factory console part here. This is that. So what you do is just move the stick back, okay, and the silver trim that's around the gear stick area, just pop that up, okay, take that out, like so, that normally uh, reveals two screws on either side here, so take this little panel on the side off. This one here looks like it's been tampered with because it's good. Odd um, screw that's not normally found in that little area. Yeah, it's, yeah, this is normally for a door. You know? It's from a Ford, yep, yeah, but it's for normally a door. These type of screws here. So, I don't know, someone says tampered with this one. Let's put those up up there. There's normally two screws here as well to pop this back here and there's only one so yeah this has definitely been tampered with because there's odd screw that's not normally found in that location so, yep. yeah definitely because someone has used that for my house circuit tree um, yeah okay the antenna is pretty simple, it's just right down here. You can uh, put your fingers up there, find it, pull it, and there you go, that's your antenna. So whatever X is, just tuck it back up there. This way up there, so. Yep. Alright, let's get to it. Come on, guys. over here for now. Hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. I've chopped three extra wires, so we've got black for earth, um, yellow for constant or memory, and red for um, accessories. Now, what happened is, at the end of there, I left our um, speaker wire slightly about a foot 
or so longer than the um, other wires that we're putting there because the power we're going to tap into is a little bit further down and the plug for this is up here mm -hmm. so underneath where the uh, fuse box is so that's why we left it back to the other side just gives you enough play with I'm just going to quickly prepare this on this side This will be say 15 20 centimeter, just put a bit of tape just so that you know, the space has gone loom. Don't have to make it tighter anything, just a bit of tape just to hold it together. Now, what you want to do is grab three spade terminal mail like these, you strip back the, um, the our earth constant and accessory wires. These onto there. There's, there's a plug and left there which is normally used for a um, hands free car kit which we're going to be using for the power source. them if you like but for this we're just gonna put it on together Thank <laughs> you. 
them though. But like this, okay, exactly the same there. These are the, the brackets that hold the aftermarket heads in it onto the fascia kits. Just got to chop off about, say, an inch or so off there. Because the air vent, when you put it in, it has a slight curve, and these are going to hit it on the side there, which makes it pretty much extra and a half to put it in and get it and I'll sitting there because it wants to push it back out. And those little pads on the side there, just the only thing that's going to be holding it in. And with that thing pushing it back out, those little pads have a certain tendency to break, being the weakest link. So I'm just going to chop off about an inch or so and give it a clearance. Okay, so let me just quickly do that and I'll put you on hold. Okay, guys, um, what I've done is I've chopped about an inch off this bracket, screwed onto the fascia kit, and then slide our head unit into there. This is the necklace, so it doesn't have the big rear end for the um, seating mechanism and stuff like that. So it's much half the size. Put the two screws in, so that's as far as all done. Now we'll get to the wiring kit. We'll pop this there for now. Um, gonna need this, this, uh, and these guys here to get to the front rice bigger cable, which is located around about there. So what we're gonna do is get the two here, some of this stuff out, so I can get to the cable. I show you what we're gonna be doing. If I can pop it there, I don't know if you guys can see from that angle. And hopefully, I can make it so you guys can see. Okay. First of all, I've got to slide the chair forward, okay? Then we can take off this trimming right next to the sitting here. Pull that from the back there, out of the way. Put the chair in there and remove this front part of it. Then we've got the screws. That's to get the um, step trim in. Yeah, that's got 
Now, if you look carefully, the wire that you're looking for is on this little loop here. Okay, so you pull that back there. It's going to come to like a Y, this loom that comes up here. It loops back that way there. And you can find a grey with a green trace and grey with a black trace. That's your front right speaker. Uh, grey with the tra black trace, that's your um, front right um, negative. Okay, the green trace positive. So that loops back in like that. The top of here that looks like a plug that goes into there. No, it's the other way around. So the, the top, the orange plug that comes out of there, that's from the head unit. When it comes back in this way, the bottom of it, that is the one that goes into the speaker. If we can just slice that back a bit, slice that wire part open so we can grab all the speaker wires out. So we've located the, um, the orange wire, I mean sorry, grey wire, or just our front right speaker wire, just chop that off, yeah, and that should easy enough to then tap on the L one here. So we'll tap that into there, like so and plug that into the plug behind this should be a blue plug, 4 pins on it and yeah let me have a look and see if there's something here still going so I'm going to pop these guys on pause for 2 seconds and then I get over to the other side and do it Hi right guys, welcome back. Sorry, I uh, forgot to record it. What happened is, basically we joined the wires, run up through the uh, underneath the steering column and so, and popped it out of this little place down here. Did a hole down there, just popped it through. So that's all our speaker wires, power and earth. I haven't, you don't connect the power and earth up just yet. Just so, you know. Um, if it touches any metal, it ain't gonna spark or anything like that, or shoot itself out. So we'll leave that to the very, very last bit, okay? So we've got our antenna, your front right speaker, power earth, and memory. Now, to get your um, front left speaker, rear left, and rear right, it's all behind this glove box here, so it's gonna show you in a minute how to get to it. Comfy. Drop the glove box down a bit, okay. Um, there's like a little tab thing here in the middle. Just push that down, and that will give you more um, room to play with. It falls down a bit. Now, with Holden's, you push it backwards, pull straight out, okay. With Ford's, go upwards. That's how to remove the glove box. Okay? So, just give it a nice little tap on the side, and it should come out just like that. Sometimes it takes a little bit more, but you know, um, they all come out. But just don't, don't be afraid, you know. Okay, now our speaker wise, it's in the loom just behind this one here. So if we can pinch this and get it out of there, we can pull the, pull the loom out, and I can show you exactly how to get to it and stuff. So, yeah, here we go. Just pinch this little clip. In a little bit, push it through, that will expose our loom, which is what we need in there. 
and uh, your BA, BF and territory will be very very similar and they will all be behind here. If not all, it will be um, your reeds are going to be behind here for sure. And your front left, sorry. sorry. On the territory, it comes two on this side and two on that side. On that side there, you pick up your um, through your speaker wires and the rights and the left will be on this side but for the BABF or your threes of the speaker wires will be on this side here this is going to expose our wires now we can draw back I'm not sure if you can see that clearly, but we should find three sets of twisted uh, wires here, okay? So there's four, but the one that we need, it'd be a pink, okay? Your blue and your orange. There's our three that we need. Then your pink, blue and orange. Orange will be your front left, pink will be your rear left, and blue will be your rear right. So just chop that because we're no longer gonna use it. Closest to the uh, center console side because this is the side that goes to the speakers and this is coming from the ICC from the head unit. Just tape it up individually so they don't spark and short itself out. If anyone actually decides to turn this on, you don't want to fire the amp that's inside that. So What we're going to do is we're going to um, drop this through these holes down here, drive across, bring it up here, join onto that, tape this up individually, and then this will be exposed down here like that. So we can just join our head unit wire, our harness, onto this and put the whole head unit back in. So we're just going to pop these guys on, on pause again, um, do that, so you want, don't watch me do the boring part. I'll show you when we get up to this part, okay? Hi guys, welcome back. So, sorry. Um, right up this way. Um, to the front right speakers. Right up that one. On the left hand side, behind the glove box for the front left, rear left and rear right speakers. Run all to the bottom and up to here. Now we have attached it to the sanding loom. Hopefully it's okay. Just plug it in now. And plug in your our antenna, which is down here as well. So, tuck it up and up, just uh, underneath the ICC there, there's a, a fair bit of gap there, you can tuck a lot of wires underneath there. So, don't be shy, just shove it underneath there, so it gets out of the way. Okay. And then, we'll have a look at the front. Screws. Pop the end like that. One, two. And we're just gonna put these guys back on again. So one in there like that. Long gold one that was on the left hand side. And this side was the small little black one right here. It's definitely the wrong screw for these, but that's how I found it. That's how I'm going to put it back. Okay. Now, um, they had some kind of um, uh, electrical uh, for the house construction thing which I've chopped and put on two terminals. Makes a little bit neater and doesn't have exposed wire. That leaves us to this. So I'll pop in from the back to the aftermarket one like that. Just slide it into place like so. Then we'll give it a 
little bit of a screw just to hold it in firmly so when you put it in now it's not going to come out on you it's not going to slide out sorry so that's done like that okay now just got to plug in our um, earth ignition and constant and then that should power up the heat unit Plug underneath the um, underneath behind, sorry, not underneath behind the uh, fuse box here. It's a four pin blue um, square plug. You find it underneath here, just plug in the earth. Yep, works. Turn some station in. for watching guys and enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe tell me what you know what i don't know give me some pointers whatever you know thanks see you next time